What's up, Nail Geeks? You guys know the drill by now. If I am quiet, it's probably because I have a desk full of posts that I'm working on for you all. So I know I have been a little bit absent on this channel this last week, but just know I'm about to spam you guys with so many videos and such pretty stuff to see. So I'm kicking it off with Baroness X's Gal Galaxy Glitters and her pot of hollow flakes and two new undies to use for these. So let's dive right into this. So to start off with, I'm going to show you guys the two undies. This is Grotto and is described as a teal jelly. It is six bucks in the shop right now. Um, this is a true jelly. So depending on how you wear it, it is definitely going to depend on how deep and rich that base color comes out for. Um, in my swatches, and I personally feel like two coats and this is just perfect. And I think two coats is also just enough for nail art using burnishing powders and all that good stuff. So um, really smooth formula, really nice squishy plumping type factor to it. Um, definitely reminds me of that liquefied jello type feel on application. And you can see here on that second coat, really nice coverage. Now, please note those of you who are new to nail art and polish and all that good stuff with jelly polishes, you typically will not see a covering of your visible nail line. So they are really excellent to use for nail art, whether it's um, coloring in stamping or burnishing powders or anything like that. Um, they're really versatile, um, but personally, I think they look fantastic as a bit of a sheer type effect. And this is Ghostwood and is described as a medium gray cream. Now this one is in the official description as a cream. I do feel like it does have a crelly formula to it in that it does have just a pinch of a jelly-like feel. So personally, in my opinion, um, I'm gonna classify this one as a crelly. So this is similar to Grotto. However, it does build up just a touch more opaque. Once again, personally, I think two coats for this one is perfect, whether you're gonna wear it on its own or as a base for any nail art or anything like that. And you can see here on that second coat, um, you will see just a teeny tiny smidge of visible nail line on this one, um, a little bit less in comparison to Grotto. And here is the bind and burnish base coat. This is available in the shop. The full size bottle is eight, which is what I'm showing you guys here. There is also a mini bottle, which is 475. You wanna use these under your burnishing coats, especially the ones that I'm gonna show you guys here in just a moment. So to start off with, this is Pleiades and is a holographic foil flake. So um, this is incredibly, incredibly holographic. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, you can definitely go in soft with it and you'll get this really gorgeous type of speckled effect. So here I'm just going in with the bind and burnish base coat. You want to wait 45 seconds to roughly a minute. So here I'm going in um, really, really generously. Now this pot, in my opinion, is quite large for a burnishing powder. Um, you can definitely, like I said, use it sparingly. I wanted to go ham and I saw holographic flakes in it and I was like, let's see if we can get our nails to look like CDs. And that's exactly what you can do if you go um, just a little bit heavier with it. Now, all of the powders and the burnishing powders, including this one, do come with the little makeup sponge applicator in each of the little packages that they come with. So just know this one is very, very versatile. You can definitely wear it sparingly or you can go ham with it like I did. And it is just crazy holographic. Now, the flakes are larger. So if you... So if you do wear it like how I'm wearing it, I would recommend going in with a really good glossy top coat to smooth everything out. And next we've got Callisto. This is part of the Galaxy Glitter set. This is the iridescent set. So there's three iridescents and there are three multi-chrome glitters. So Callisto is a shift between pink, yellow, and green. You can use your fingers to apply them. You can use a sponge. You can use a stamper like what I'm doing. Um, I personally like this technique. I think it's a lot easier in my opinion. And I'm also protecting my cuticles for an easier cleanup with the purple latex barrier from Baroness X2, which if you guys did not see my last video on the burnishing powders from this brand, her liquid latex is my holy grail. And here we have Europa, which is another one of the iridescents. This is a shift between green, blue, and indigo. So once again, I'm going in with the stamper. Like I said before, you can definitely use your fingers for this. It's very, very easy. Now I wanna note that I also found that on the glitters, I 
kind of forgot on like two or three of them um, to use the bind and burnish base coat and with the polish not fully dried down I was still able to do this technique and kind of brush off the excess after using the stamper so I think with the with the burnishing powders you definitely want to use the bind and burnish base coat but on the glitters I think you might be able to get away without using it and here is IO this is an orange to yellow to green iridescent glitter so these are just fantastic they're such easy easy ways of nail art um, you can also do gradients with them all kinds of fun stuff I think they are phenomenal and if you like blingy loud just crazy in your face nails this is definitely an easy way to do it so this one has that really gorgeous very strong green shift to it really lovely iridescent effect very very nice now I want to know if this is a bit of a messy type technique though after top coating and letting your nails dry down go wash your hands and it easily comes off of your skin and next this is Proteus which is a shift between blue to red this is part of the multi-chrome portion of the galaxy glitters and as you can see here um, very similar to what I'm doing in the previous ones I'm going in with that stamper and it's just adhering very nicely to the nail now on the multi-chrome glitters, those are um, gonna be a little bit finer particle than those iridescent glitters I just showed you guys. So these are a little bit smaller and they are really, really sparkly, very, very pretty. Now this one has a gorgeous shift to it. Um, of course I record in bright lights, so I feel like it's being just a touch shy on that shift, but um, it's definitely there at extreme angles. And next is Triton. This is a teal to purple one. And um, just sidebar, um, all the undies that I'm showing you guys in this video are those two creams that um, I started off with the, at the very beginning. Now, Triton is definitely my top pick out of the uh, seven in this video. It is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous and it has a very obvious um, goldish type effect to it too. It is very, very pretty. So lots and lots of shift with this one happening you can definitely see that teal uh, at the edges of my nails and then there is that strong purple shift at extreme angles too but really blingy very flattering i really liked this one a lot and i thought it looked gorgeous over grotto and lastly we have galatea this is a gold to green to sky blue shift and it is the um, last multi-chrome glitter. So like I said previously, there is the Jupiter moons, which are the iridescence, those first three, and then there's the Neptune moons, which are the multi-chromes. So this one is also of the final par finer particle too, and it has a very strong gold effect to it with an easy shift over to green, and then there's that lovely bluish type effect off in the edges of your nails. I feel like that um, extreme angle shift to this one um, does flirt a little bit more with an indigo in my opinion and of course in all of these you are seeing a glossy top coat applied after I cleaned up and all that good stuff and then to finish off with I'm showing you guys how I'm cleaning cleaning up my stamper really easy I use a lint roller shocking it's um, if you are new to stamping or if you are new to nail art using stampers or anything like that this is an easy easy way to clean off your stamper you never ever want to put acetone or anything like that on your stampers it will degrade them very easily this is the best way in my opinion to clean off those stampers and keep them uh, nice and tidy so the galaxy glitters are currently on sale right now in the shop for five bucks a, a pot and then and then normal prices for them is six. You can also grab the undies and the holographic foil flake in her shop too. It's all in there. Um, and I will link you guys below to her shop if you want to check it out. And I'll also link you guys below to the Facebook fan group. I'm actually an admin over there. If you guys have tried any of Baroness X's burnishing powders or any of these um, galaxy glitters or anything already as they have been out for a little while, um, get in there and post. I want to see them. I would love to see them. And I'm more than happy to let you guys into the group. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.